Norma, why are you known as the Queen of Swing? Well, that's John Gaffard made that up. He created a story out of listening to what, what I was talking about. He made a story out of it, but it had nothing to do with me as a person doing what I did. I brought, I, since he made it a person, I became part of it. But it was a story that he made up to do a documentary, and the documentary is called Queen of Swing. Let's talk about your documentary, okay. Susan. How did, where'd you get the idea? How did it, how did it, what's the inception of it? Well, I've been swing dancing for 19 years, and I had been a film executive for about the same period of time, a little bit longer. And um, I was in New Orleans at uh, an event called Showdown. And I remember uh, there was a parade called the Second Line Parade, uh, and I just thought, this is so visual and the, and the community is so, so rich. The music is so Are you just infectious. Are you talking about New Orleans? Yeah. New Orleans music? Yeah. That's, Kate, that's a different kind of music yeah. than swing music. Well, it was, it was jazz, it was it, just in general. Just, the, just, just in general. And I just felt like somebody needed to make this movie. And I didn't think it would be me, but I just felt like it needed to be on film. I think you did a hell of a job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, do you know the meaning of second line? Yes. But well, how much time do we have? Well, the second oh, line. You sure. said the second line parade. Second line. It's it's traditionally from funerals. Exactly. Actually, you um, go in sad yeah. and you come out happy. You come out happy. Exactly. That's how every show in in New Orleans. You never came to the Louis Armstrong Jazz Camp. I haven't. I would love to. I've been every July. I'm gonna come. Yeah, I do a concert every year. I would. I can't wait. And we end with the second line. Nor no and Norma, do we, did, did you discover swing or were you born into it? I, wasn't, I didn't have to discover it. I was part of the whole new movement. It, it was because I, I, was, I, was, I used to do, I was uh, Ella Fitzgerald's opening act. I mean, we traveled together when Chick Webb and we were the first package to come out of Savoy Ballroom. Chick Webb was the king of swing. And we had the big battle between Benny Goodman and Chick Webb. Wow. That's amazing. Can you, can you just tell us a little bit about the, the whole environment in, in, in Harlem? Well, the environment was, the, a pl you had a place where you could come and bring in. all great writers who wrote music came to the Savoy. There was a rehearsal every day. Some band was rehearsing. A person would bring their arrangements and give it to Chick Webb or whatever band was coming and they'd be rehearsing. Everything was there, the one place. Remember, we never, we had another ballroom in New York. We had this, the Roseland Ballroom. We couldn't go there. And it was right downtown. Yeah. Nobody went downtown to hear them. They all came to where we were. So we didn't have to go nowhere. Everything happened there. Uh, our top politicians, our newspaper people, our dancers. Movie stars from LA would go to Savoy. That, it was Everybody. A, every night would come Everybody. to the Savoy and that was how they would have boxes they would sit in so they could it was Lana Turner that named it the home of Happy Feet. That's right, yeah. You said it all stopped with Pearl Harbor. Oh, yeah. What happened? Well, the bands had to break down. They couldn't afford the bands. So the bands, people like Basie them had to break down their bands, and that's, uh, that changed the music. So when you started the, to make the, the movie now, uh, uh, swing dancers are, are mainly white. When, when, did, when, did it, when did it go from being a black art form to a, to, to a white one? When, in the 80s, when the, when the dancers all became white because they were dancing, they were, they, were, they were taking classes and they were dancing at night. And we had a place called the Cat Club. And in terms of capturing the film, tell us about it. Capturing the film? The, the documentary, yeah. tell us about it. Well, it was interesting because um, you're talking about, uh, just on the side, um, like the, te the behind the scenes production no, stuff? No, your, 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 your visual your version, approach. Yeah. Would, would oh, my, okay. Yeah. Well, um, you know, being a swing dancer, I wanted to be true to the spirit of the community. And in structuring the film, most, most films like this are about a competition. You know, you follow different people and all ends up at the big competition and, you know, but in the swing community, at least in the modern swing community, the competitions, even though they're really fierce and people will throw down uh, and are very competitive, at the end, they're all dancing together. It's very social. 
uh, you, you just want to have dances with as many people as possible. So to make it about the competition would have been um, false to me. So we needed to find a structure to, to be something much, much bigger than just the competition. Um, and, and I found some, I think, uh, amazing subjects, people who just love this dance, they live for it, they live for the music. Um, and, and I think that it, it's inspiring to see people who have such a passion for something. And I'm hoping that people who see this, whether they decide, hey, they want to dance, which would be fantastic, or maybe they just question whether they have a passion or a joy in their own lives, because I feel like today, you know, we do lead lives of quiet desperation. And we go to work and we come home and we, you know, do this or this, and we don't reach out and connect with other people. And, and everybody's on their phone. Exactly. But you can't, you can't do that when you're dancing. When you're dancing, you've got to put your phone down. And right. your phone isn't going to swing you out. And a good swing out, there's, like I said, there are no apps for a good swing out. You, yes, still, got, you still got to do that the old-fashioned way. Chester? <laughs> swing out? We're just finishing that tune. Oh, good. Uh, go ahead. What, 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 what music, what, what, what contest were you talking about? What major contest? Oh, just in general, that there are contests and competitions. Well, do you know how, how we came from the biggest of all? Oh, I know, the Harvest Moon. That's what's yeah. in 1935. Yeah, but we don't have that anymore. You're telling me? Yeah. No, okay. So what, yeah. Do you, what do you think of the, the quality of the dancing today, oh, the, Norma? The quality is A1. You've got dancers today that are just as good as anything you, you can have. No question about it. Uh, I love the fact, well, they've had 20 years of training. And, in 20, and that's what it takes to be a good dancer. And that's what you got today. No question about it. I, got, I can pick out any 10 dancers, and I show you some of the top dancers today. But they are swing dancers. But they have taken what they have eliminated. They have no jazz dancing, and that's what's missing. Yeah. I will say, though, I mean, while the film shows incredible dancing, we also show social dancing and the fact that mm -hmm. You know, you can learn this at any age. Exactly. There are people who learn in their 60s and 70s. Who I know a couple, they looked at each other after all their kids moved out, and they said, well, let's go uh, dance. we're, we're going to you know, end the rest of our lives on this couch, or we better learn to do something fun. Right. And they went out dancing, and they, they have the time of their lives. Yeah. And, and you don't have to worry. It's not how good you are in social dancing. It's, it's how much fun are you having. And if you're having fun, you're doing it right. So. What's your favorite it, bands today? Well, we've Other got, than Jonathan Stout. Jonathan Stout is amazing. In New York, you have George G. Yeah. You have Glenn Kreitzer, who's kind of New York slash Seattle. Oh, good. Um, what you, about uh, 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 Gordon, uh, Gordon, Gordon Webster? Gordon Webster is amazing. I mean, I, I almost, I almost hesitate Wilson. to pick one or two because I'd say that there are like 20 that can really swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've got yeah. a lot of good, but they don't. They don't have the, the, the style of a Count Basie or, well, Duke Ellington was never our favorite type of uh, musician or music, but he, he wrote some of the best swing music there was, and he was the Mozart of our day. 